Good morning, little nerds. So this video is coming after a very long week. I had a resurfacing laser yesterday. My face is a little bit messed up. I think I was getting stressed by the upcoming launch of the brand that I felt the need to laser my face. I have not done this in over three years. I remember why I haven't done so. So if I look a little bit out of sorts, it's because of that. And I've also had a very emotionally long day because I am excited terrified, nervous, scared, thrilled about the potential launch of this brand. We'll not give an official date, but it is around the three week mark from now. So mark your calendars, but there is so much to be done. So nerds today, happy Saturday morning. It is September 3rd, I believe, and it is back to school. So I thought, my little nerds, let us finally give the teens, the tweens, and all of those in between, I did not do that on purpose to rhyme, but it worked, um, a video about teen skin care routines. And honestly, this video doesn't just apply to your teenagers. If you are a teenager or to the moms or the dads or the guardians of teenagers watching this video to try to help their loved ones, it also applies to all of the oily people out there um, because truly age is not a skin type. Whether you are a fetus, actually they are blessed, or a teenager, or in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and, and beyond. After 90, we could say beyond. Um, age is not a skin type. What really matters is what is happening internally, hormonally, etc. And the only time when that kind of holds true is in our teenage years, because we have all of our hormonal dysregulations happening or regulations happening. Our testosterone levels are out of whack. Our estrogen levels are coming up and we become oily messes. We become flushed, we become red, we become oilier, we become pimply, we get comedonal acne, we start stinking in our pits. It all starts happening at that time. So I think if ever age is to define a skin type, it is in your teenage years. So with that being said, I thought to myself, since it's back to school, we had a long summer. Some people just went through puberty. <laughs> They're probably breaking out. Let me help you help your loved ones or help yourselves. Starting with number one, cleansers. You guys know this, actives and cleansers are not my favorite thing because it's a lot of money that people do not know how to use. They put it on and they wash it off. So I'm gonna focus on gentle cleansers instead. Um, and we are gonna talk about some of my favorites, starting with cheap and easy tried and true vanna cream i do not need to show you guys this texture because by now you probably have seen this on one of my videos you know it um it is a non-foaming cleanser but if you are very oily i like a nice foaming cleanser there used to be this misconception that if you use a foaming cleanser you're going to overstrip your skin completely which is true to a certain extent i think we have come a long way in formulations and things are much more elegant today than they were probably 15 20 years ago but the difference is don't overwash your face especially not with a foaming cleanser i think that is a little asterisk mark that you want to say um, when you're using a foaming cleanser use it at night washing the day off at the end of the day in the morning if your skin can tolerate washing just with water it's what I do. It's what my kids do. My husband by default has always been doing that because he just doesn't understand skincare. But um, cleansers at night. Now, if you are extremely oily and you've tried just washing your face in the morning just with water and it's not working, then try in the morning and at night. Maybe one day out of the week though, skip the morning. If you're okay, then give it a few days and make it two mornings where you skip the cleanser and slowly try to separate yourself from the cleanser in the morning. Love this guy, La Roche-Posay, their Tolerian purifying foaming cleanser because why not make it French? It is French. Now, our little buddy Hiram has his selfless line. I like this cleanser. I've always liked this cleanser. This is his Centella and Green Tea Cleanser. It is a really nice one because Centella, although I did say I don't love actives in cleanser, has the calming ingredients as is green tea. So what I would suggest, if you are going to use this, let it sit on your face for a few minutes, take a dump, read your iPhone, message your crush at school, and then wash it off. Um, don't just wash it off right away. Otherwise, even though it's not that expensive, you're still wasting your parents' hard-earned cash or your own hard-earned cash if you have a side job. So those are the cleansers that I would tell you I really like in teenage years. Obviously, there is one that I did not include, 
And if you know which one I'm gonna say, then you get bonus points. I'll give you guys a little Jeopardy music. Okay, we don't have time to wait. It is Penoxyl with benzoyl peroxide because benzoyl peroxide also has antibacterial activity that can really help minimize the bacteria on your skin. With Penoxyl though, it is going to bleach your towels. So the way I would recommend using it is leaving it in the shower putting it on your face when you get in the shower, then turn on the water, wash your body, do whatever you're doing in the shower, we do not need to know, and then whoosh, splash it off because letting it sit on your face is gonna let it really do its magic. And it doesn't matter whether it's 5%, 10%, it really doesn't make a difference what kind of pendule peroxide is in there. It could even be as low as 2.5% and you'll be fine. But it will dry you out. So is it something you use every day? Absolutely not. Maybe do it two, three times a week at most and see how your skin does. Next, chemical exfoliants. We all love to exfoliate. We learned this in the pandemic in 2020 when everyone's face fell off and they finally discovered chemical exfoliants and moved away from the St. Ives scrubs. Physical scrubs are no. Go, no, go. Avoid them. You're gonna basically make your acne scarring way worse for when you're older. And I would tell you, it's just not worth the scrub. If you have an itch, I don't know, scratch your arm, not your back, if you have pimples on your back, because you will also get acne scarring on your back. Um, keep your hands busy. Do not physically exfoliate your face if you are flaring up with active acne. And quite frankly, even if you're not, I do not like beads or physical scrubs for many reasons beyond the scope of this video. Chemical exfoliants, teen chemical exfoliants that I love. I love Starface, love this brand. It is a fun brand. Um, it, comes in a very bright color. You can see it from a mile away. The reason I like their chemical exfoliants is gonna kind of sound stupid. I like the packaging. I like that you can squeeze it up top and get it onto a cotton pad. Um, it is a very nice and easy to use chemical exfoliant. It retails for 12 bucks. You can't really beat that. And it has glycolic lactic salicylic acid as well as a PHA. Um, so it also is married with a little bit of niacinamide just so that you keep aware of that in case you have niacinamide elsewhere in your routine because you don't want to overload on niacinamide. And I really do like that it comes in this packaging because you don't waste it. So Starface, j'adore. Next one is one that I think is a very cute brand. It's one that is also very easily affordable for teenagers and for younger people or for people on a budget. It is the Bubble brand. I think their packaging is very cute as well. Um, I have recently become interested in packaging for many different reasons, but they've done a really nice job on theirs. I will show this one to you as well. My husband is calling me on my phone and I'm ignoring him for you. Um, but basically, as you can see over here, it has a locking mechanism. It's nice and sturdy. And as you apply it, it has a really nice silky feel. I am very frankly impressed by the texture of this guy or girl for what it is. It is a AHA PHE exfoliating mask. I actually love exfoliating chemical masks because you have to let it sit on your face and then wash it off. According to their directions here, leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. I also like that they say use it one time a week at night. They're not telling you to use this five times a week, use up the whole product. And I really respect this brand for that because they're not trying to shove their product down your throat. You could probably get away with doing it two, maybe even three times a week at night if you fully tolerate it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and they were maybe being a little uber conservative with the one time a week, but it makes me respect them more. The reason I like the mask, you're never gonna do this twice a day because who has time for that? Not me and not you, you should be studying because right now that is all you should be doing is having fun in school, studying, and hopefully making your future better for you. So once we have exfoliated, right, what else can we do for our skin if we are an oily teenager? I have a few serums that I think are fun ones for teenagers um, for several different reasons. Number one is, I have it here, the Grossier. This is the super pure niacinamide and zinc serum. This one is 29 bucks. It's 5% niacinamide. So if you're using the niacinamide and the exfoliating acid from Starface, you don't need this guy. If you don't have any niacinamide in your routine, then I would say invest in this guy. The zinc, the zinc, the zinc also has some anti-inflammatory properties that will calm redness with acne marks. So j'adore. It's a good one. Hate the dropper, hate the dropper. 
but you guys are gonna feel like you're in chemistry class, so that is fine. Then we have Peace Out Acne Serum. The Peace Out Acne Serum is 17 bucks. It is 2% salicylic acid. It also has niacinamide and zinc, so similar to the Glossier story, but it has salicylic acid as an addition. So if you're exfoliating with the star face, again, you don't need this because this one is sal acid. So double check what you're using and why. This is a very jelly texture. It goes on very lightweight, does not leave a residue, but just be it has a scent if you have sensitive skin, but just be aware of what you're using because again, you don't want to over exfoliate. Then we have the In Beauty Project Green Machine $32 Serum. This is very good for redness. It comes in this green sort of consistency. It is an oil to jelly serum. So it appears oily and it becomes much more lightweight as you use it. Rep, I am red, I should be putting this on my face from my own laser treatment, but it is a very good serum to use if you have a lot of redness. And it has THD, which is a vitamin C ester. So use this in the morning before using your sunscreen, which takes me to, before we jump into the sunscreens, because that would have been a very good segue, hydrating serums. So we have a misconception, little teenagers, and I say little in the most loving way, because if you're 16, 17, 18, you're really not that little, even though you kind of are. Moisturizers. When we're oily, we usually think, I don't want to moisturize, I'm already oily. I don't need more stuff on my face. You probably do. You can still benefit from a moisturizer even if you are oily. And sometimes when we are oily, we want to get rid of our oil, so we start blotting it, we start using these blotting papers, we start overwashing our face. What happens? You're going to overstrip your skin. Your skin's going to start thinking, oh my God, I have no more oil. I, start need to, I need to make more oil. So counterintuitively, if you use a lightweight moisturizer that's feeding your skin, your skin's going to get rebalanced and it's not going to think it's so oily anymore. It's going to stop producing oil. So. What hydrating serums do I like? This guy is Bioma. It's $15.99. Very cute. You can't miss it. It is a lightweight, milky texture with squalane glycerin. It has no hyaluronic acid, which makes me happy because you guys are probably recently discovering hyaluronic acid thinking it's like, oh my God, the best thing ever. Um, but it's not. Scroll a few videos back. Um, it's so lightweight. It's so lightweight and you just feel like it gets absorbed into your skin. It's really nice. I like this one. And you use this one in lieu of a moisturizer. If you live in a humid climate, you don't have to use a moisturizer. If you're very oily and you're scared of the heaviness of something, this is a really nice one to begin with. Then we have by the same brand, Bioma, they have a moisturizing gel cream. Now this one also has niacinamide and green tea and it has a triceramide complex. It retails for $13.99. Now I'm a little skeptical because ceramides are very expensive to put in a product. So I don't know how much of actual ceramides are in this, how low on it is the ceramides, I don't know. But I'm a little skeptical. With that being said, it's light. It's light, it's only $13.99, it's okay. If you're still getting some of that hydration in, you're fine. Plus, you don't really need so much ceramides if you are very oily, because you probably are going to think it's too much for your skin type. Um, but Bioma has those two products, their hydrating serum and this gel moisturizer cream, which I really like. Then we have, this is a very interesting one by a colleague of mine, Dr. Josh Zeichner. It's called Jory. It is a 2% salicylic acid primer. Now, this guy right here retails for 70 bucks. It's a little expensive for a teenager, I understand. However, I think this one can go a long way in the morning, especially if you are a makeup user. Just make sure you're not exfoliating in steps before you use this, because again, it has 2% salicylic acid. But it is a very cool primer that just goes on very silky smooth and really allows for a makeup application later on to feel seamless. I don't wear much makeup, so I can't fully demonstrate for you guys. And I probably should not be putting salicylic acid post a resurfacing treatment, but it's a nice treatment to try, especially in the morning if you're wearing makeup and you're acne prone or have acne, acneic skin and you wanna put something under, Jory has their primer right there. We have some funsies. Funzi numero uno is hypochlorous acid. People are confused about hypochlorous acid. 
we will do a whole video about hypochlorous acid some other day but i do think using this especially if you have to wear a mask most people don't wear masks anymore that's so 2020 um but if you're wearing a mask or not or if you're just somebody for example holding your phone all day on your face your glasses especially around your eyes uh, hypochlorous acid can definitely help minimize some of that bacteria on your face fun fact i use it on my patients every time i clean their face before any sort of injectable procedure or laser procedure to make sure that their face and the field is clean tower 28 has one it's easy keep it in your backpack and go live your life and not worry about it other ones that are funsies starface has their star patches their hydrocolloid patches this was their elmo i think edition if you're loud and proud use this otherwise hero cosmetics has their mighty patch which is much more seamless so if you want to be more discreet about your pimple go for this guy florence bobby millie brown millie bobby brown whatever her name is has her brand right here i don't love these ones why because it has tea tree oil peppermint oil and salicylic acid hello irritation if you love her sure support her but just be careful because it has peppermint oil as well as tea tree oil and that tea tree oil is actually a very big irritant contact with dermatitis so not a huge fan which now takes me to sunscreen what kind of sunscreen do you want to use if you have acne i'm going to show you guys this one which i will want to demonstrate on myself i just bought it three days ago dr jarts Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment with SPF 30. It is a sunscreen that I love for people with oily or red or acne prone skin. Why? Because it color corrects the redness and it actually makes you like that you're using your sunscreen. It comes in a greenish color, as you could see right over here, but this color, right, will help to block the redness. So I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. I wanna show you guys look at that plus i'm protecting against the sun what more do you want honestly i like this one a lot now the only trick about it is are you using the right amount getting the right spf coverage that's the question du jour so make sure you try to get one finger for one side of your face second finger for second side of your face if you're going to use this for real acne coverage which i hope you are because look at the difference so much better all right now glow screen for all the youngster makeup wearers who don't have oily skin are going to love this because your face is going to look like a disco ball and sometimes i still think i'm 17 and i look at myself in the mirror and i realize maybe i'm too shiny but it's a very beautiful sunscreen and again for the oily oilies sunscreen powder sunscreen powder not for initial application for reapplication as you're living your day this is one by tarte it just helps to at least minimize the appearance of a sheen so while you're getting protection so two for one love and those are some of my favorite products Retinols, I think you don't need a retinol if you have no acne and you're a teenager. What are you anti-aging? I mean, you haven't even started living to start aging fully. Um, but you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that was very funny, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I don't really think you need a retinol as a teenager unless you have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads. At that point, then knock yourselves out because that's actually why they came to market was for teenagers. Glossier has theirs. Universal Pro Retinol 35 hate the marketing it's completely misleading it is not an actual retinol it is retinol sunflowerate which is a plant-based retinol but it's light super light it's not going to irritate you but it's a good start and then you have in beauty projects retinol remix for 48 bo 48 box bucks um it is a one percent complex of a vegan retinol and worth a try but if you really have bad acne go see your dermatologist make sure they put you on a prescription strength tretinoin instead and hopefully your face and your skin will clear up and with that i am dr shireen idris happy saturday i wish you guys a very good back to school month um september is going to be very crazy and i'm very excited to show you guys everything have a beautiful saturday and i'll catch you guys next week